Namaste everyone. In this lecture, we are going to see how with the help of Microsoft Azure, we can create a chatbot and then how can we deploy that Microsoft Azure based chatbot on a Google site. Right. So let's begin. Uh, you have to first search for QA makers. Right. You can just type the name over here in the search box and automatically it will show you uh, it will show you that window where you can get the option of creating a Q&A chatbot. So let's hit this create option and it's going to open for us a window where we'll have to, you know, fill, give some information to Microsoft Azure. Okay, so let's come down. I'm using uh, Azure for students here, so we need not to change the subscription. Let's come down and create a new group. So for creating a new group, you need to hit this create new option. And uh, here you can enter the name of the group you would like to use for your chatbot. So for now, I am using this name called chatbot. Uh, let's make it my chatbot. I think uh, this sounds more relevant, but uh, Microsoft Azure is not accepting this name. Uh, let me, okay. Yes, it has accepted the name. Let me choose the location. So uh, for now, I am going with East Asia. And here I am entering my own name, Gaurav Kumar Jain. Okay. Uh, pricing tier. Okay. It says your resource name can only include alphanumeric characters. So let's get rid of this Kumar Jain and I'm making it Gaurav KJ and over here we need to select the price tier. So I am uh, going with this one for now because that's the only one available for me on my portal. I'm not able to see that free one. Uh, if you are creating chatbot for the first time, you will get to see two options here. Fine. So you can go with the free subscription okay let's now come down and select the price tier pricing tier so i am going with basic one okay so it's good to go let's disable the insights and now it's time for us to create the q and maker so everything is uh, everything looks good here let's hit this create option So it is, I think it's showing us an error. Okay, so now the things which I just entered, they are getting validated by Microsoft Azure. And once uh, the Microsoft Azure is done with validating everything I have entered, it is going to deploy my application. So let's wait for some time. Submitting deployment, submitting the deployment template for resource group. Okay. Okay, so I've been redirected to this uh, web page here and still the deployment is in progress. So let's wait for uh, some more seconds. And after that, I will show you how can you, uh, you know, connect an external website like this to your chatbot. So, you know, whatever is there on this website, it will be fetched by Microsoft Azure and you know the data we have on this website, Microsoft Azure will use that data for training this uh, uh, chatbot which we are right now creating here on Microsoft Azure. How you will, how you can link a Microsoft Azure based chatbot with an external website that's what I'm going to show you very soon. So please don't leave. Just stay there with me. Definitely this uh, lecture will give you a lot, a lot of knowledge about Microsoft Azure. And besides that, let me just tell you uh, that I am currently providing coding classes for almost everything related to computer science, whether it is artificial intelligence or web application development or something like uh, mobile application development. So if you want, you can uh, contact me on uh, my number 989166 And you can avail the coding classes facilities. 
let's now come on go to resource and okay it has redirected us to this page we need to come down and we need to now visit the q and maker portal so you can simply click that q and maker portal option here here we are going to use the sites url for training our chatbot how to do that i will show you that very soon the page is getting loaded right now so there are uh, you know tutorials of almost on almost everything on my channel artificial intelligence deep learning machine learning uh, recently i posted three to four lectures on machine learning so if you guys are new uh, uh, in machine learning you can check those lectures definitely uh, they will give you a lot of experience so you have to come down on step two and here you have to first select the subscription so i'm going with azure for students and then uh, we need to select the service so for now i'm uh, going with this bar of kj which i just created in front of you need to select the language so english okay and here i need to enter a name so I'm, uh, for now i am entering Gaurav chatbot okay and it's time for us to add the url of the website the data of which we need for training our chatbot so for now i'm using this uh, coronavirus website and uh, that's how you can add the url and then you can come down and simply you can click create your kb so right now microsoft azure is uh, contacting the server of this external website uh, and you know it is uh, then going to fetch all the information from the website and use it for training the uh, chatbot so it says oops nothing uh, something went wrong please try again okay let's try again no problem maybe there was some network issue due to which it happened okay so i think uh, we are we have successfully created a chatbot it's time for us to just test whether the chatbot is working fine or not but before that let me just show you the data we have over here okay so that's what we have here and let me just test it so if i will write update here what's going to happen let's check it out okay so it's uh, it has given me a response for this update given new evidence on the blah 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 thing okay so it's working fine if you want to suppose train this chatbot with some uh, some of your questions so what you can do if you want to add some questions yourself you know you have some questions here and you want to add uh, those questions to this chatbot so for that you can come up and you can click on this add q and a pair option and it will create for you a new pair over here uh, here on the left side you can put the question how are you let's say how are you if suppose uh, we'll ask this to the chatbot then what should be its reply so we can put the reply here we can put the message here which we would like the chatbot should reply with to the user uh, i am doing fine so i'm doing fine how about you so i think that is uh, a good option fine let's now test the you you have uh, unsaved changes so let's first save the changes which we just made and after that we are going to test the chatbot uh, for the question which we just passed as input so the question was how uh, are you
okay so i'm getting the response as i am doing fine how about you uh, great so it's working fine it's time for us to publish the chatbot so that is how we can do it okay so i've successfully published my chatbot uh, it's time for us to link it with our uh, website with our google website so let me just rename uh, this website to corona how i created this google website if you guys don't know about that process let me just guide you about that too so i came on my google drive i simply click here on new and here you will get uh, the option of more which will open for you a cascading menu in which you will get to see uh, an option called google sites with which you can create your own google website now how to uh, you know use this chatbot on this website let me just show you that so we need to use this embed option and here we can embed the code of this chatbot so where can we find the code let me just search for it uh, you can always find the deployment details your service has been deployed what's next create bot so i clicked on create bot let's see what's gonna happen it's not a time consuming process definitely uh, you will when you will create it on your own you will find it more interesting so please do try it whenever you get the time it's very easy definitely uh, if you know about microsoft platform you have a good chance of you know uh, growing professionally okay so that's what it has redirected me to so here uh, you can see all the options are automatically uh, filled by microsoft azure i need not to fill anything here i just need to create the bot which i just trained okay so microsoft azure is right now validating the changes validating everything whatever i passed as input uh, initializing deployment okay so everything is going fine till now Okay, I think uh, I have successfully created my chatbot. Uh, okay, so deployment is in progress. Fine. That's the second time, you know, we are seeing this message. So let's wait for some time. By the time the deployment is uh, being done by Microsoft Azure, let me just tell you about my courses. So there are courses. Uh, related to artificial intelligence as i've told you there are courses related to deep learning also then there is uh, there are courses related to machine learning even if you want to learn excel uh, visual basic uh, developer tab about you know you want to know about developer tab of excel definitely for that too you can contact me you don't have to go to any other shop each and everything you can find here from uh, you know on my channel and you just have to get in touch with me you can contact me on the number which is there mentioned in the description section okay your deployment is complete let's now uh, see what we need to do next so go to resource okay uh, and here fine now uh, you know once you are there on this uh, resource page you need to click on channels and then here you have to find out the code with which you can embed your uh, you know web application to this website here so you can you can easily find the code over here let me just show you that section just give me a short moment okay let's click on web chat I think that's not the one. Let me go back and see. Okay, so instead of going on channels, you need to go come on channels 
uh, deprecated right here you will find the option uh, with which you can you know get the code with which you can embed this uh, chatbot to any external website so uh, that's the information let's uh, copy this code and let's come on this website and here you have to paste the code and simply click next It's going to take some time because uh yeah okay so we have successfully i think it says trouble connecting maybe there is some network issue at my end but definitely when you will try it on your own you will be able to do it right so that's how you can create a chatbot of your own and you can now embed it with whatever you want to okay i hope you guys enjoyed this lecture a lot do not forget to like and share this video in your group and make me reach to the maximum students possible. Thank you very much for being there with me in this tutorial. Have a great, great day ahead. Bye-bye. Take care, everyone.